And um, therefore, I thought, well, I want to show you something that's maybe a bit further back, maybe going back to earlier in the year, even late last year in summertime. And combining that with the fact that we've sort of had a bit of a Karula theme with um, some of the T-shirts and things lately, and, and also, um, as we always do, have a Karula theme on drive. We're always either looking for her or looking at her, depending. And um, I went back and I looked at some clips. And, I mean, amongst many other things, and, and so many of you that I, that I know well by now, and some of you that I don't know so well have, have over time posted almost 2,000 clips. So I was looking today, 1,900 and something clips. Um, and I should stop using the word clips, but recordings um, of, of the drives. And it was just fantastic. I sat there maybe for an hour and a half, two hours today, just looking at various parts of it and, and remembering to when we started this. The first time that we started encouraging people to record things and, and to tell stories. And um, I must admit, thank you to everyone that's done that. I had a fantastic hour and a half, two hours of entertainment myself today, looking back at things. And I came across a few different ones of the same event that actually I personally missed. Oh, hey, Ryan, how's it going? <laughs> Someone else arriving. We'll still get him around the fire as well, Ryan from Aratuza. Um, and I went back to Karula because I wanted to look at something of her. I went back to Summer because I wanted to look at the bush when it was green. And I came across the very first time we saw Induna and Misho, those two young cubs that all of us I know by now have fallen in love with. And um, the first time was with Rexon. Simon was still with us as well. He's back in the States now. And... Um, Alicia and myself were away, so I wasn't actually at Juma at the time. I only heard about it when we came back, and then subsequently we got to know those cubs. And um, it was just fantastic. I mean, I, I knew it was a good sighting. Rexon was extremely excited when he told me about it. Um, as I said the other day, one of the things I, I, I truly still share with Rexon, apart from just friendship, is that we both still have that very much alive and happy passion for the bush. When Rexon sees something beautiful, he gets a big smile on his face and he gets excited. And I remember when he told me about that, he said, oh, I finally saw the cubs. You know, he'd spent many hours tracking them, looking for them. And, uh, and when we came back from our, from our break, he said, you know, I saw them. It was fantastic. You know, in, in Duna, which I immediately loved the name. I think in Duna is a classic name for, a, for any leopard, uh, meaning chief. And Misha is a word that Rex and myself have discussed many times, meaning dawn or daybreak. And, uh, and he said, the one is a male and the other one he's not sure. But he called the other one Misha uh, because it's a name that can work for a male or a female. Anyway, having heard that story before, I've made it part of my own. I've, I've referred back to it sometimes. I've thought back to it many times. But actually going back and looking at the video, looking at what it looked like, looking at what you shared and experienced with Rexon on the day was absolutely fantastic. And uh, going through various parts of it, I found one from Blaze. And um, I, unfortunately, I sent Blaze a, a message on, on email to, to say that we're going to have a look at it tonight. And unfortunately, I couldn't get Blaze's first name. But uh, many of you will know Blaze from the social network, from the Ning site. And um, it was just a lovely clip. It fitted in perfectly with, I think in many ways, summer that's around the corner for us. Um, the time over the last many months that we've had getting to know in Duna and Misho. And also just in the, 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 the personalness, the, um, the sensitive aspect of, of what we share on drives. The, the very realness of it. Maybe that's what I'm, I'm trying to point to. So I think... I didn't even think how I was going to end tonight. Um, I think I'll say goodbye to you after we look at the next piece because I would like to. I know many, no, not many of you. I know that all of you are going to have a big smile on your faces after seeing this part. So enjoy the view of summer. Enjoy seeing what it's going to look like around us in the next couple of months, not weeks, but in the next couple of months. And certainly enjoy having a look back at what Induna and Misha were like when they were still tiny. The Shangan people would show about that high. They were about two months, maybe two and a half months at this stage. It was around January earlier this year. Enjoy what you're going to see, and I'll see you around the fire again just now.
Well, I don't think I need to say too much about that. It is absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I watched it a number of times earlier today. And um, it is it's as clear as a memory. In many ways, maybe better than a memory. Being able to see those two cubs when they were that young and being able to look back at it was just fantastic. Never mind how green it was and how beautiful it was and, and, the, and the summer habitat around them. But just seeing them play, seeing the tenderness between um, Karula and the youngsters, mum and youngsters, mum and babies, however you want to look at it, was, uh, was beautiful. Seeing the curiosity as well, looking at how they experienced the first time seeing, um, well, it wasn't the first time they saw any vehicle. It was the second time, in fact, they saw any vehicle. But the first time they saw the game drive vehicle, the Jigar is always a bit of a different experience for animals. We've seen that many times just because of the configuration, how they were looking at that, seeing the personalities already. I could clearly see um, first from personality and then from markings as well, both in Duna and Misho in it, um, how they interacted with mum. And... Um, yeah, I just think it was, it's amazing to be able to look back at that, to share um, a memory that, that many of us shared at the time, many of us shared since then talking about it, and now all of us that um, sat around the fire tonight have seen that as well. So I, I really enjoy that. And um, just again, to say thank you to everyone that records so many of these moments with us. And uh, over time, we'll be showing many more of them. We'll always thank you for it. Um, as, I, as I said earlier, um, the elephant clips and also for the the ones now of Kurula and the Cubs that was from Blaze um, capturing that for us so fantastic to look at and um, I'm not going to say that much more I'm just going to say thank you very much for joining us tonight around the fire I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow on drive and uh, on many other occasions around the fire again I promise you at other stages I'll have a lot more to say but tonight I just really enjoyed being able to look back at things and reminisce a little bit talk a little bit, remember a little bit, and ultimately just share moments, which is what going on Game Drive and certainly what Wild Earth is all about. So thanks for joining us tonight, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, enjoy the rest of your day. As I saw earlier, some people were saying they just um, made some cups of coffee and getting ready where they are as well for their day, and uh, look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on the Game Drives and um, sharing many, many more moments of magic together and uh, not knowing what they are yet. So look forward to those. We're going to show you a couple more pictures just after I say goodbye, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. From myself, Peter, Hadman behind the camera, Lishan and Final Control, and also everyone else visiting at the moment, Jess and Ryan and Steve. It's, uh, it's always nice to have other people from around the world joining us in camp as well. Bye-bye.